Have you ever wondered what happens when the smallest creature in the jungle decides to take on the mightiest? In a place where the strong ruled and the weak hid, chaos was brewing. A large, fearsome lion had become a menace, bullying the other animals and disrupting the harmony of the jungle. The forest dwellers decided it was time to intervene. We've got to do something about this lion, cried the hare. A conference was held with suggestions flying around like leaves in a storm. We need a champion among us to teach him a lesson, was the consensus. But who was brave enough to stand against the king of the jungle? The tiger hesitated, the elephant backed down, and the rhino buried his head in a book. Just as hope was dwindling, a small voice piped up. It was the owl who boldly declared, Do not fear, I will confront the lion. And so the jungle waited in anticipation for the showdown between the owl and the lion. The sun rose the next day, painting the jungle in hues of orange and gold. The jungle was alive with anticipation. The lion, in his grandeur, sat at the heart of the gathering, his eyes scanning the crowd for the owl. The minutes ticked by, and the animals began to shift restlessly, their eyes darting to the jungle's edge, waiting for a sign of the owl. Finally, as the sun began its descent, a figure appeared at the edge of the clearing, the owl. His entrance was met with a mix of relief and confusion. Why are you so late? the lion roared. The owl, unfazed, responded, Well, Mr. Lion, I came across a much larger lion on my way here and I was frightened. I had to wait till he fell asleep to continue my journey. The lion's curiosity was piqued. He demanded to see this greater lion, and so he followed the owl. Under the guidance of the owl, the lion found himself at the edge of a deep well. His eyes glinted with anticipation, his muscles tense as he prepared to face this so-called larger lion. The owl, maintaining a calm demeanor, pointed into the well and said, He went inside the last time I saw him. Peering into the deep well, the lion could see nothing but darkness. Then he noticed a pair of eyes staring back at him. The lion roared, his voice echoing in the silence of the well, and to his surprise, he heard a roar echoing back. His heart pounded in his chest as the echo seemed louder, fiercer even than his own. The lion, shocked and frightened, staggered back. That lion's roar dot 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 it quote s louder than mine, he exclaimed. The owl nodded gravely. Indeed, Mr. Lion, he is quite terrifying. Fearing this new adversary, the lion roared again, louder this time, trying to assert his dominance. But again, the echo came back, even more powerful. His pride wounded, the lion felt a shiver of fear run down his spine. He had never encountered a creature more formidable than himself. The lion turned to the owl, his eyes wide with fear. This lion, he's stronger than me. The owl nodded. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you, Mr. Lion. And just like that, the lion turned and bolted, his tail between his legs. He disappeared into the jungle, his roars getting fainter and fainter until they were no more. The owl watched as the lion fled, a knowing smile on its face. It turned back to the other animals who were watching with bated breath. They broke into cheers, their relief palpable. The jungle was finally free from the tyranny of the lion. And just like that, the lion was gone, leaving the animals of the jungle in peace. With the departure of the lion, the jungle breathed a sigh of relief. The air was filled with the sound of jubilant cheers and hearty laughter as the animals reveled in their newfound peace. They turned to the owl, their eyes sparkling with admiration and gratitude. Thank you for your bravery and intelligence, they chorused, their voices echoing through the now tranquil jungle. The owl, perched proudly atop a tall tree, nodded in acknowledgement. My friends, he began, his voice cutting through the murmur of the crowd, we must remember that it is not always the biggest or the strongest who prevail, but those who think clearly and act wisely. Our strength lies not in our claws or our teeth, but in our minds. Being smart always makes us stronger. The jungle fell silent, the words of the owl settling deep within their hearts. And so the moral of this story is that intelligence is a strength often more powerful than physical might.